What is up creators, this is Tom, welcome back to another video. I've got an interesting one for you today, bit of a new uh, series. So I'm here with Josh Brady, uh, one of my friends and local videographer, photographer. Uh, so he does a similar thing that I do um, in my area. And you guys have seen Josh on the channel a couple of times because he's amazing. What, what do you call yourself? Like a, it's like a parkour, yeah, parkour athlete? parkour athlete, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah, okay, so um, flipping and tricking. Um, and you guys have seen him on the channel because I filmed that a couple of times uh, and I'm sure we'll, we'll throw some up on the screen throughout the video um, but today I've got an interesting one because I'm starting this series to talk to other creators about their camera gear their camera setups uh, and to just kind of get an idea on why creators use the camera systems that they do let's very briefly just Josh do you want to just like introduce yourself maybe just sure. let people know about the work that you do mm -hmm. all right so my name's Josh I'm a content creator from Brighton as well um, I basically do design, photography and video and kind of combine them all together to create like coherent marketing campaigns, predominantly for social media and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll kind of, you know, shoot some video, get some stills and then put it all together with some design bits to make something for yeah people to share on their their website social medias and just kind of covers all the bases then basically nice so you sort of do like kind of everything your your camera system needs to be able to do a lot of stuff well. yes yeah like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm asking quite a lot yeah so uh you know it needs no introduction it's the classic sony a7 III. super super popular yes, camera yeah the a7 III. Um, I actually used to shoot with this camera, which you guys have seen videos on the a7 III on the channel, uh, because I shot with this camera for a couple of years. So this is a super interesting interview yeah. for me because I have experience with this camera, mm -hmm. um, but I decided that it wasn't fitting what I did, but you have still kept it or yeah. like, ha so how long have you been on the a7 III now? Um, I think probably, you know, like two years now Okay, maybe? right, so exactly, yeah. so it already wasn't it super new. No, and you've, no. You've kept using mm -hmm. the A7 III, which yeah, yeah. is wicked, because it is still like a bit of a workhorse camera, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's it's been so popular for such a long time with so many different people, and um, yeah, for, for the all the, you know, those same reasons, it made sense for me as well. So A7 III, um, super mm -hmm. popular, camera like I know tons of creators that still use it as I said I've already used the a7 III before um, in terms of lenses what do you normally go with because this is a Sony e-mount mm -hmm. like it's quite a, a mature camera like a lens mount now yeah, there's lots for it so yeah. why don't you let me know what uh, let us know what lenses you use for the system well um I mean, that was one of the main reasons that I went for the uh, the a7 III to begin with mm -hmm. is just because there's so much to choose from when it comes to when it comes to lenses and everything like that. Um, at the moment, I've got a Tamron 28 to 75, the 2.8 on here, which again is like it's such a staple. Um, yeah. But you know, it just does the job, and it's such a good price. And that that was the thing for me. Like when I got the the camera, it was very easy then to start. Uh, just getting a bunch of different lenses and stuff like that and it will continue to serve me then when I want to you know upgrade and stuff like that and um, I'm already in the right like space to do that basically nice, nice. Um, so yeah Tamron 28 to 75 2.8 on here which is like your classic um, so that was a big thing for you in terms of a lens system that you wanted to invest in some e-mount lenses and then potentially use that moving forward in the future. Exactly, yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to because I had uh, before. I'd had a um, a Lumix camera and um, it was great and everything, but it was very good value for money. But I didn't want to stay on that because investing in those lenses just didn't make sense to yeah. me. And then I knew further down the line I'd probably change to something else and have to get rid of all that glass. So yeah, uh, yeah I wanted to make sure I went with something that would serve me for, for a longer period. Well, it's then. kind of like the change I made to go to Canon, mm. but you, you but the other way around. So, yeah, well, yeah. Way, yeah. <laughs> I went from Sony to Canon and you did yeah. it the other way around. Um, but I suppose that way you could go on to what, like the Sony a7S three, obviously, but the, yeah. the FX3 yeah, exactly. would be a good option for yeah, you. Yeah, FX6 then even going on yeah, to those okay, kind of right. things and uh, all, all the lenses will work for that as well. So, so I probably should have prepped you for this question before we hit the record button, <laughs> Okay, but I'm gonna, ask you one thing like the, the thing you love the most about mm -hmm. the camera yeah and then the thing that you dislike the most about the camera okay if you need a second just let me know i think yeah no i think i can 
I think I can go. Okay, for that. sweet. So, so should we go with love? So yeah, what, what, yeah. Like, what's the the one thing that uh, like you love my, most my about my this love, camera? Um, I probably would be well, maybe two things: the the versatility okay. of it because I shoot so much of stills and um, and video. It provides a really awesome middle ground where I can very much do both to the level that I want to do, yeah. which is quite rare to find in a camera. I think. Um, and yeah, the, the stills, especially like the dynamic range you get out of the stills, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. un unbelievable. It's so. I, so I remember it being like a ridiculously yeah. good stills camera. Yeah. Like that was probably one of my favorite things about it as well. Is exactly. That, like, yeah. It was good video, not like mm -hmm. like ridiculously, not yeah, yeah, not yeah. like incredible. But yeah. the stills really were like it's it's probably. If, for instance, if you were a wedding photographer, yeah. it's like the what dream. More it's do you like need? I mean, camera. yeah. I mean, you start looking at like what would be the next best thing for stills, and you, you the A seven R and stuff like that. But all you're really getting is higher megapixels, yeah. and and for me, like twenty four is absolutely ample yeah. so, for anything you're doing yeah. online, social media, website, oh, and even it's, printing. Like to yeah, a well, large it, yeah, extent. exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah, no, for sure. So in terms of stills, it's just yeah. Okay, so it out the water. then we go on to hate. What what do you reckon the thing? And I reckon I probably know this before you answer it because it'll probably be the same answer that I had. But I, I'll hold off. I don't know, so maybe what were you, what were you gonna say? Uh, so, f I guess this has been something that has niggled at me more in the last kind of year than when I was first getting into it more mm -hmm. and using it more. But I think um, like that eight eight bit video yeah. is just a just not quite yeah, like I, I where mean, I want it to be now. Say. Oh yeah, yeah really. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I, like, I quite like the colors and stuff that I get out of the Sony. I know that's a problem for a lot of people, but I I don't seem to to mind too much. I've got my head around S Log now. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it would just be nice, I think, to have that that ten bit option. Yeah, so it was ten bit for me, and also the lack of sixty frames a second in four K. Yeah, but I suppose these aren't more yeah. newer features. Yeah, like the I, mean, camera when, is... yeah I don't think any anything was doing that. No, like probably not. Out. But now, probably yeah, not. I mean, that would definitely be um, that would definitely but be then, nice to have. For instance, I'm gonna go and get it. Like this is this is my sort of daily stills camera. This is mm. the Canon EOS R, which everybody on the channel knows that I absolutely love. I did a video yeah. about it a few weeks ago. Mm. And this is pretty similar yeah. in terms of specs to the a7 III, with the big exception that the a7 III is a better video camera than the EOS R because like mm. the frame rate options on this are pretty bad. Yeah, and the crop as yeah, well. So yeah, yeah, the 4K crop as well. Yeah. So this does full frame, mm -hmm. 4K video, yeah. 120 frames a second, or uh, like in, in Europe, we shoot yeah. 100 frames a second. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, at 1080p, so that's like really good. Whereas this is like 720p, it goes down to. Yeah. So yeah. it definitely, like. Well, and it was, I, I remember when I was getting this was in a similar time to when that was coming out or when it had, I can't remember exactly, but I was deliberating between, between the two. And mm -hmm. it was just, that was just so much more expensive. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was going to be getting like less features, so in the end, it was just kind of a, mm -hmm. it was a no-brainer. Like it, although it was just the, the staple that everyone is shooting with. I was like, wow. Well, I mean, there's nothing, nothing's going to be here at the moment for yeah, that for price. Sure. So. For sure, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I've noticed that you got an Atomos yes. on there. So maybe let's briefly. So what, like, why mm. did you go for the Atomos? Did, did you has it fa has it fixed problems that you had with the camera? Yeah, for sure. Actually, that that probably could have been one of my hates. Actually, is the the screen on the camera itself is pretty terrible. Right, right. <laughs> I yeah. mean, normally when I'm shooting stills, I'll be going through the viewfinder, but then like for video, that's not really as practical. So having a, a better screen for one has made a, a just huge difference in itself, especially mm -hmm. when like pulling focus and, you know, working with S-Log and stuff like that. I've got a, um, you know, a, a custom LUT on here now that gives me a Rec. 709 to see when I'm right. shooting S-Log. So I know that like, I'm in the right the right sphere of exposure yeah, you've got and stuff. Better like better that. peaking tools. Yeah, exactly. Waveforms. Yeah, Instagrams. unlimited record time. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's so a whole just, list of things. Yeah. That, exactly. Uh, it's made a big difference. And as I was saying, um, the ProRes in here as well has made my editing life a hundred times easier as nice. well. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, right. Because ProRes is a lot easier to work with when you edit on a Mac. Yeah. Much smoother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which I didn't. I've not shot in. 
ProRes on a camera because I just always shoot in MP4 yeah. and yeah. I've not had a camera system that actually, because I when I was shooting with the ASM3, I didn't shoot with the Atomos mm -hmm. and then I've gone straight to Canon, which doesn't shoot in ProRes. So yeah. um, that's super interesting that, it, it, that, I mean, that is the case. It's like a significant, like double, double the speed of yeah, that's crazy. Like, processing that's, and stuff like crazy. that. So we've got a couple of wrap up questions. Mm -hmm. um, so the first one would be, why you still use the camera and haven't because you know i think that's fair to say mm. it's been like well the a7 III is probably about four years old now yeah, like coming up to four years old <laughs> yeah right so it, it, it is an, an older camera system in, mm -hmm. in terms of the more modern cameras that are available now um so why haven't you upgraded yet and uh maybe potentially also what you might be looking at even yeah though we might have touched on it already mm. but well so i think um I've been kind of biding my time, I guess, mm -hmm. a bit and investing in other bits and pieces that will serve me for the long run. So lenses, Atomos. Lenses, Atomos, lighting, gotcha. mics, that kind of thing. Um, and in in the meantime, whilst getting all of that stuff together, kind of patiently waiting for the A7 IV, mm -hmm. I guess. Right, okay, nice. Which yeah. will hopefully be, I mean, obviously that like the A1 came out recently, which is yeah, the, the, in, insane. The, the beast. Like a, a, a bridge camera like yeah. would be. Yeah, for sure. Would be insane. So but, the um, A7S III, is that, has that not tempted you? It, yeah, it has certainly tempted me, but um, because I shoot so much stills, and although, to, uh, you know, a lot of people say, and I'm sure correctly, 12 megapixels is plenty, um, but I feel like that 24 is just a sweet spot for me. Right. So, I, yeah, I I'm suppose also just, you do a lot of design, yeah, which means that potentially I am working to with resize those size yeah. and yeah. yeah, move things around and do things a little bit more dramatic. So I guess that extra flexibility yeah. maybe helping just a little. Yeah, bit. for sure. So um, yeah, I'm guess just yeah, investing in other bits until potentially the A7 IV comes out and nice. will hopefully, you know, basically be the same as this but with 10 bit. 4K60. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> then I'll that, be a happy man. That definitely would be the dream. So, uh, sort of wrap up question. Yes. Would you still recommend the A7 III, or would there be like an alternative camera, or maybe like who you think it still is the right fit for potentially? Mm, yeah, I'm, I would 100% still recommend it. I think it's mm -hmm. really good for so many. Um, I mean. For anyone shooting stills, first of all, yeah, absolutely, like, <laughs> yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, no-brainer. Um, if you're doing uh, stills and video like me for for someone that is, you know, not having to shoot super high-end, uh, you know, films, like, if you're doing, if you're doing um, short videos and content creation and stuff like that, like, for 99% of things, it absolutely gives more than you would need anyway. Mm. And like, especially if you are able to then invest in like better lenses and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'd say it makes more sense for doing content stuff rather than you know spending a hefty whack on a on a cinema camera and yeah. then not having as much to spend on the other bits and pieces. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. Yeah, no, I mean it totally it totally makes sense. I I still feel like for when I was using the camera it would still be a really good fit for like someone at the early stages of their like yeah. freelancing career mm -hmm. or, or wanting to just get a camera that does everything that yeah. they can take, they can say yes to jobs. Mm -hmm. And then like you say, later start investing in, yeah. in other stuff yeah. because you seem to have like ticked off mm -hmm. the video, ticked off the photo, and then you can start making exactly, exactly. investments. I mean, I areas. think I think in terms of like value for money, it's still like, Pretty, pretty hard to beat, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, you can do, uh, you know, once you do start investing in those other bits and pieces, especially with good lighting and stuff like that, you can do so much. Um, and you know, ninety nine percent of people probably won't won't know what is shot on anyway. Like, yeah. True. So. Um, true. We tend to like geek out about this stuff, but yeah. <laughs> most people just want it to like look okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and exactly. sound okay. If there's good lighting and like a bit of bokeh. Then yeah, <laughs> yeah no, for sure. People are pretty happy normally. For sure. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for joining me, Josh. I hope you guys have found this interesting. Um, is there anything you want to plug? Maybe do you want to just let everyone know your Instagram? Maybe just so that if people can follow. Yeah, you. yeah, my. Instagram is JJ Brady one for my personal channel and then from there you'll be able to find a link to my like work channel as well that's got all sorts of bits and pieces of uh, flipping know, work design and, yeah <laughs> well photography. flipping on your on your personal yes but, um, I'll have hopefully shown some of the more cooler bits of 
parkour and stuff. I'll, I'll post some stuff for your Instagram and throw <laughs> yes, it in the video. Yes. Um, but hopefully you guys have found this interesting, helpful. Let me know what you guys think of the series idea. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>